let us learn about factors affecting evaporation. There are four factors which affect the rate of evaporation. First, surface area, then temperature, then we have humidity and wind speed. Let us see how each of these factors affect the rate of evaporation. Let me explain surface area with the help of this example. Whenever we are drying clothes, we prefer to spread them out. We prefer to put our clothes for drying in this manner rather than what you see in the second figure. That is because we are trying to increase the surface area. We already know that evaporation is a surface phenomenon. So if the surface area is increased, the rate of evaporation increases. Rate of evaporation refers to speed of evaporation. Rate means speed. So speed of evaporation increases when the surface area increases. So surface area is directly proportional to the rate of evaporation. As the surface area increases, the rate of evaporation will increase. If the surface area decreases, the rate of evaporation will decrease. Now, why does this happen? When the surface area increases, the number of particles exposed to the to the atmosphere are more. So more number of particles can gain energy from the surroundings and they can evaporate. So more particles get evaporated at once. So the rate of evaporation is more. Whereas if the surface area is small, then we will have less number of particles getting exposed to the surroundings and getting evaporated. So they are directly proportional. The second factor is temperature. Now we have been saying that evaporation is a surface phenomenon. It absorbs energy from the surroundings. So if the temperature is more then more evaporation will take place because more particles can get enough energy to break the forces of attraction and get converted into vapor state. So temperature is again directly proportional to the speed of evaporation. So more the temperature, particles can get enough kinetic energy faster and more number of particles will evaporate. I'll take the example of drawing of clothes again. Now, this is one example which can be used throughout to explain all the factors. Now, whenever we are drawing clothes, we prefer to spread them out and they dry faster if it is a sunny day clothes dry faster on a sunny day because the temperature is high and the particles get enough kinetic energy and they get evaporated. The third factor is humidity. Humidity is the amount of water vapor present in the air. So whenever we say it's very humid, that means there is too much water vapor in the air. Water gets saturated with water vapor. Now, if there is too much humidity, if the water is already, uh, sorry, if the air is already saturated with water vapor, that means the air cannot hold on to extra vapors. The capacity of the air to take up more vapors is less. 
so the rate of evaporation will decrease if the humidity humidity is high rate of evaporation decreases so they are indirectly proportional humidity is indirectly proportional to evaporation Now we have seen when humidity is high, the water vapor gets condensed if the temperature becomes cooler. But at normal conditions, if humidity is high, that means the air has too much water vapor in it. It cannot take up more vapors. So in such cases, drying of clothes is not preferred. Say for example, on a rainy day, on a rainy day, um, since it is raining, so there is more humidity, more moisture, more moisture in the atmosphere. So the clothes do not dry faster because the rate of evaporation is less. And the last factor, wind speed. Now, wind speed and humidity are related. If the wind speed increases, humidity decreases because the wind carries away the particles of water vapor with it. So, wind speed, wind speed increases, humidity decreases because the wind is carrying away the water vapor present in the air which means the rate of evaporation will increase so wind speed is directly proportional to rate of evaporation wind speed is directly proportional to rate of evaporation taking the same example clothes dry faster on a windy day now let me summarize this we have four factors out of the four three are directly proportional to the rate of evaporation now which are those three factors it is surface area temperature and wind speed now these three factors are directly proportional to the rate of evaporation. Only humidity is inversely proportional to the rate of evaporation. And we took the example of drying of clothes. So we can very uh, easily remember that we spread the clothes when, when we are putting them for drying and, they, and the clothes dry faster if the wind speed is high and if it is a sunny day whereas the clothes dry slowly or they don't dry at all if you have high humidity like in case of rainy days